Machine learning is one of the most talked about topics in the world of technology. And by now, I'm sure you must have definitely heard about this term. So if you're new to machine learning, the basics covered in this video will get you up to speed. My name is Afreen Rahman. And in this video, I'll talk about what is machine learning and the different types of machine learning that exist. It's a very basic one-on-one -on -one video. So if you are into that, please hit that like button, subscribe button, and stay tuned for the video ahead. Machine learning is an application of AI that provides system the ability to learn on their own and improve from experience without being programmed externally. So if your computer had machine learning, it might be able to play difficult parts of a game or solve a complicated mathematical equation for you. Now, how does machine learning work, uh, you know, in general? Now, consider a system with, uh, I would rather say, input data. And, you know, that contains photos of various kinds of fruits. Okay, let's take this example. Now, you want the system to group the data according to different types of fruits. Now, first, what the, the system will do is the system will analyze the input data. Next, it will try to find patterns like shape, size, and color. Now, based on these patterns, the system will try to predict the different types of fruits and then it will segregate them. Finally, it keeps track of all the decisions it made during the process to ensure that it is learning, right? So the next time you ask the same system to predict and, you know, segregate, uh, you know, the different types of fruits, it won't have to go through the entire process again. And that is how machine learning works. Well, uh, let's talk about machine learning's basics, right? What are the different types of machine learning that exist? Now, when talking about machine learning basics, you must know that it is comprised of three different types. Number one is supervised machine learning. You supervise the machine while training it to work on its own, right? So this requires labeled training data, right? Second type is unsupervised learning. There is training data, but this data will not be labeled. And the third is reinforced learning, where the system learns on its own. So coming to number one, which is supervised learning. Now to understand how supervised learning works, look at the, you know, I'll show you the uh, example right on the side of your screen where you have to train a model or system to recognize an apple, right? So first, what you need to do is first, you'll have to provide a data set that contains a picture of different kind of fruits. Like here, we're taking example of apple, right? Then provide another data set that lets the model know that these are pictures of apples, right? This completes the entire training phase. Now, next, provide a next set of data that only contains pictures of apples. At this point, the system can recognize what the fruit is and it will remember it. You know, that's how supervised learning works. So you are training the model to perform a specific operation on its own. Now, this kind of model is often used in filtering spam mail from your email accounts, right? Now, the second type is unsupervised learning. So, you know, considered a very cluttered data set, right? It is a collection of pictures from, you know, different fruits, like because we're taking fruits example. Now, you feed this data to the model, right? And the model analyzes it to recognize any kind of patterns, right? In the end, the machine categorizes the photos into three types, uh, you know, as it is shown in the image here right now, based on their similarities, right? Now, giving you a very live example is Flipkart uses this model to find and recommend products that are well suited to your own needs, right? The third type is called the reinforcement learning. Now, what happens here is you provide provide a machine with a data set and you ask it to identify a particular kind of fruit. Again, in this case, it's an apple, right? So the machine tells you that, you know, it is a mango, right? But that is the wrong answer. So as feedback, you tell the system that it is wrong, right? It is not a mango, it is an apple. So the machine then learns from the feedback and keeps that in mind, right? Then, so the next time you ask the same question, the system gives you the right answer. It is able to tell you that this is an apple. This is a reinforced response. So that's how reinforcement learning works. The system learns from its mistakes 
and experiences. Now, this model is used in games like if you are a gamer, you must have heard of games like Prince of Persia or Assassin's Creed, even FIFA, right? Wherein the level of difficulty increases as you get better with the games. Well, this was the very, very basics of ML and very, very basics of the type of ML. Uh, in our part two, we'll be definitely talking about in depth of how machine learning works and the complete guide to understanding machine learning steps. Well, follow us, like our video and subscribe so that every time there's a video out, you get notified first. Thank you. Thank you.